Hello guys, welcome to binaryhackers.com. This is the part 8 of the Wireshark training. In this part, I am going to discuss about the layout and column in Wireshark and how to change the layout and columns in the Wireshark. Ok, now open the Wireshark protocol analyzer and open our previous file, the capture1.pcapng. Okay, in this video, I am going to show you the layout of Wireshark, how to change the layout, the font size of the packets and the column in the Wireshark. So you need to go the preferences of Wireshark. So click on this symbol, it's the edit preferences. So it will pop up the window of the Wireshark preferences. Let make it make it small. Now go to the layout option right here. This is the pane uh, size of the Y sharp. The pane format, the default one is first one, one, two, three. Suppose I'm going to change this to second one. Click on the apply. And you can see that the packet byte pane is go to the right side and packet detail pane is go to the left side. So in this type, you can change the panes of the Y shark like 2 and 3 if you don't want a packet byte pane in your pane format just click on the none and apply you can see the packet byte pane is gone so I'm going to leave it the default one first one and I also want the packet byte pane click on the apply okay so it is the default setting of Y shark Second one is alternating rows and columns list entries. If you want that, click on the yes and apply. If you don't want, click on the no and click on the apply button. The second one is packet byte highlight style. The default one is the inverse. If I choose the bold one, let me show you how the bold one is look like of the packet by highlight okay so this is the packet by pane if I click on the any number you can see that the number is highlighted it's make it bold and dark suppose I choose the inverse apply and I select you can see it's highlighted with the blue color so this is the style of the packet byte so I'm going to use it inverse the default one the toolbar style the default is the icon only next is the text only and icon and text only suppose I'm going to use the text only and click on the apply and you can see the toolbar style is changed to the text only like interface option start so this all icon go gone and text will come up so if you want to change this style from text only to icon and text it will change the icon and text you can see that the icon is come up and also the text under the icon so this is very handy and user friendly so I'm going to leave it the default one the icon only next one is filter toolbar style this is a text only style it's a filter toolbar and you can see right here the expression clear apply and save it's all the text only I'm going to use the icon only and the text will gone and icon will come up you can see the icon will come the expression clear apply and save icon I'm going to use icon and text so it will come up the symbol of icon with the text so this is the use of the style the next one is filter toolbar placement so the default is below the main toolbar this is a filter toolbar so I'm going to change it from below the main toolbar to insert into the status bar so it will come up right here apply and you can see that the filter is come right here filter expression clear apply and save 
in the status bar so I'm going to leave it default okay the next one is the columns this is our default column total 7 column number time source destination protocol length and information this all column you can see right here in packet list pane so suppose I'm going to use a protocol just highlight on the protocol and change the field of the protocol the default is the protocol name like ARP, DNS, TCP and I'm going to change it to the source port so the protocol field will gone and it will come up with the source port number click on the apply and you can see the all ARP DNS will gone and it will come up the source port number so this is the use of the column you can change your field of your particular column this is the HTTP so port number 80 so it will come up with the HTTP name now I'm going to change it the default protocol if you want to add you can add a new column make it the field as you want if you want to remove click on the remove so this is the use of column in font and color so this is why the default color sorry default font is a lucida console the normal style and the size is 10 I'm going to increase it 13 make it bold okay and apply and you can see that my font of the packets is changed is make it bold and increase the size of the font so you can change your font size from the main window font option if you want to change the colors you can change color from here whatever color you want click on the apply so it will change your color so this is all for this video see you in the next part thanks for watching